Spinosaurus uh, is the largest predator to date, 50 feet long. That makes it special in the category of Olympic records for dinosaurs. But for science, it's, it broke a, another barrier that I think is scientifically more important for us. It is an animal that is adapted to living in water. We call that a semi-aquatic animal, an animal that could go on land, like all of its predecessors, the, 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 the predatory dinosaurs we call theropods. But from head to tail, it is showing signs of adaptation for a water-loving life. We imagine the animal paddling away like a duck with a long neck uh, like a bird, but like a crocodile powering its way with a very significant tail and a head that looked pretty much like a crocodile. So it's a chimera. It's a combination of a bird and a crocodile. Nothing like it alive today. It's normal for a theropod. It's not very enlarged. T Rex is a bit large. There's no modern day equivalent to Spinosaurus and there are no extinct animals that really look anything like Spinosaurus. So it's like working on an extraterrestrial, it's like working on an alien. You know, my interest in these, these strange African dinosaurs started very early when I was about six or seven years old. And so to actually see this skeleton come together and, and being able to um, play a role in bringing this dinosaur back to life, so to speak, has been a pretty incredible experience and still feels very surreal.